A new chapter is about to begin in the ongoing search for life on Mars. NASA is getting set to launch a rover destined for the red planet later this week. And our resident space enthusiast Richard Southern joins us. Richard, that mission has some very ambitious goals. Tell us about that. There's so many cool points about this. This is just, it's so fun. I want to point them out to you. So this is it. It's called Perseverance, the latest Mars rover. It's going to blast off Thursday morning. It's going to arrive at Mars in February. Huh. Uh, what it's going to do, it's going to look for signs of microbial life. But one of the most important things it's going to do is take samples and stow them away to send back to Earth at a later date. And that's kind of what we're looking at here. There are 42 sterile tubes, Janela, inside this rover. And so when it sees a sample it likes... It's going to stow them away. We're looking at it right there in one of these these tubes mm -hmm. that have been cleaned of any earthly microbes. NASA hopes to launch a pickup mission in 2026 to take those samples and blast them back to Earth. Uh, this rover is going to have 23 cameras on it and two microphones. So we're going to see and hear Mars like never before. Huh. Uh, it's going to take video for the first time ever of the parachutes opening when it comes down. So there's going to be, we've never really seen a lot of video for Mars because not a lot of stuff is moving around, but this time we are, and we're going to get audio back to unbelievable Janela. That is crazy. It's a long mission also for those tubes to be stored, I guess, in a freezer or something <laughs> and then brought back to Earth. Are they still even going to be in, in the same condition as they were when we found well, them by the time they get back sealed here? sealed up inside the rover so nothing's going to touch them. And then if all goes well and, you know, six years or whatever, they'll another rover will take them and blast them back to Earth and we'll see if that works or not. But it's a very <laughs> ambitious mission in that regard. Interesting. Stella. Okay, another out of this world plan. If everything goes according to plan, we could see the first ever off-world helicopter take flight. But this, is, this is like my favorite thing and we're going to look at it here. Little tiny helicopter called Ingenuity is attached to the rover. It's going to drop this thing off. It's only 1.8 kilograms. And this thing is going to try and fly. This would be the first flying machine we've ever sent to another planet. And it's basically trying to prove the technology, Janelle. It's going to try for its its first flight to fly three meters into the planet's very thin atmosphere and then fly forward two meters. With each attempt, it's kind of, it will try and go higher and further. There's no science equipment on board except for one camera. They're just trying to prove this. But if it works, would kind of be like a Wright Brothers moment on Mars where flying on another planet that's unbelievable, don't you think? I guess they have to account for the atmosphere and all the different things there than it would be here on Earth. Uh, okay, one last piece of uh, interesting piece of cargo that's going to be on board the rocket that lifts off later this week. What's that? NASA's going to return a piece of Mars to the red planet after spending 600,000 years on Earth. A little piece of a Mars meteorite that was discovered in Oman in 1999 will be attached to the rover. It's going to be used to calibrate sensors. Other cool stowaways on this will be little pieces of space suits. They want to see how they react over the years on the planet. There'll also be silicon, a silicon chip featuring the name of 11 million people who signed up. And Janelle, there's even going to be a plaque paying tribute to the medical workers who have been on the front lines of the pandemic. Huh, fascinating stuff. Thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.